the one thing that you have to continue to expect is predominant predominant action to the sell side you're also going to have one or two days you know through the week maybe three four days through the month that you're going to have welcome to access a trader the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success profitability and longevity thank you for joining us here's dan shapiro to help you find your edge master your process and own your future hey guys good evening everybody welcome to another edition of uh, the access to trade.com weekend update show hope everybody is doing well uh we got an ugly ugly nasty weather here uh in the northeast we got snow we got sleet we got uh everything right we got everything uh hopefully everybody stays safe the roads are uh absolutely aggressive but nothing's more aggressive than the downside market and what we continue to see uh, on a daily basis. Uh, again, Russia, stagflation, right? Uh, COVID kind of still lingering in the background, um, but more important is sentiment, right? And there's after effects of what happened when there's damage, right? And that's the kind of my most important part. And the 200 day moving average of all you guys who've been here, uh, even for the last two months, and this is where the stage has been set, uh, there's been technical damage and, th and that's exactly what it's been. And uh, hopefully, uh, that you guys have been watching uh, the videos, you know, Monday through uh, Wednesday and on the weekends, you, you know, hopefully um, if this is your first bear market, I think a lot of you guys are, are probably sharing that scenario. Hopefully I, I, I put you in the right in the right mind frame, right? That's the most important part there. Are, unless you're trading oil, right? Unless you're trading oil and, you know, some other sectors have been uh, pretty, pretty, you know, commodities and stuff like that. Everything's weak, right? Everything's weak. There's no such thing as a breakout, right? There's no such thing as a breakout in a bear market, uh, for the exception of oil, which is uh, going, still going bananas, and you could see uh, by the prices at the pump. But the market's weak. The market continues to be weak, and you know, people people get very, very so excitable uh, when they see an uptick in the market, and then they realize that uptick, you know, maybe lasts for a couple of hours, maybe lasts for maybe a couple of days, but the overall. Uh, the, the, the overall reality is very negative. And so you can see here's the 200 day moving average. We lost it and you know, here we are. You know, this is you know, two, uh, we're going on now two and a half months uh, of this sell cycle. And unfortunately, because a lot of new traders never experience a sell bias market, maybe you've seen a week, right? Because the market's been so strong from, from Obama uh, to Trump now to Biden. You guys have never seen realistically a downside market, you know, again, I've traded two bear markets that lasted for two, three years. And, you know, again, nobody wants that to happen. Again, like I said, I'm not a bear. Okay, I'm just a realist. You know, whatever's in front of me uh, is my reality. Again, I would love to see a bull market. I would love to see uh, everybody happy and fully invested and have multiple days of runners to the upside. But again, this is life, right? Uh, and we don't get what we want. And the market is absolutely no different. And the most important part is to kind of level off expectations and kind of wake up to reality. And this is our reality. And if you are an active trader, uh, we're getting some really good value uh, most days on the downside. Of course, you're going to have uh, some days that the market's going to reverse and uh, put up a move, but the overall common denominator be behind every single bear market until the, the narrative has changed is number one, sellers are still in control. Buyers are, are not giving enough, right? Giving enough uh, credit for defending levels and those levels are, uh, are going down very, very quickly. Uh, you also have a very aggressive uh, spin cycle, which doesn't, you know, we all pray, right? We absolutely all, all pray that this is going to, you know, end any single day, but you got, you know, you got a lunatic that's worth $300 billion. You know, it's, it's an ego thing. You know, the guy went, uh, you know, the guy went a couple of days ago, uh, quote unquote, reached out with his 25th person in command and said, hey, you know, we're willing to talk. And this is where kind of the market, you know, had that big seven, 800 point day. And then it gave it all back the next two days because everybody realizes he's not serious. There's nothing, there's nothing serious about it. So this is going to be stretched out, right? Uh, so the one thing that you have to continue to expect is predominant, predominant action to the sell side. You're also going to have one or two days, you know, through the week, maybe three, four days through the month that you're going to have aggressive upside bias. So if you are a two sided trader, you got pretty good value on both sides of the market, but especially to the downside. If you are 
a bull bias trader, your your job is to, to wait, right? Because you are getting, you can see it with your eyes, you are getting those up days in a bear market, okay? So your job is to kind of wait it out, right? Be in cash, wait it out. And if you don't trade to the short side, you, what, what choice do you have? You're going to start uh, you're going to start sitting there trying to pick bottoms. We know that's not going to happen, right? We know that that hasn't happened uh, anywhere, right? Like literally, this is uh, the second to lowest close in this whole formation here. The only thing that's lower is the low from uh, March the 8th and the way the market's going. You know, this is, you know, this is the area that it definitely wants to test. And ultimately, this uh, uh, February 24th low of what was it uh, 318 on the queues is gonna be a, a very very big area of concentration so far nothing uh, has materialistically or news uh, driven changed over the weekend we're still uh, high oil prices we're still at war uh, there's still some traces uh, of covid the mandates for masks have been removed uh, in a lot of states but again it's still out there right until it goes away it's gone uh, you know, maybe th then everything will go back to normal, but slowly but surely life is getting back to normal. And unfortunately right now, our reality is war. Our reality is high oil prices. That's our reality and our reality. And I'm sorry you know, if you, uh, if you're a new trader, um, we're in a bear market, right? That's the best way to, you know, best way to say it. Sometimes you got to rip the bandaid off. You can sit there, you know, you can sit there and be uh, nasty and cranky and make, you know, ridiculous comments. Again, who are you mad at? Right. Who are you mad at? Ain't nobody told you. You know, nobody told you to buy you know, GameStop at 300. Nobody told you, you know, to buy uh, Amazon at 3400. Right. Nobody told you to buy, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft at, at three, you know, three and change. Right. This is this is you. So why would you possibly waste your time and aggression and emotional, you know, and emotional bullets fighting, especially on social media of all things? You can't control this. We can't control this. We don't know where the market goes. Right. We just we're just making educational guesses based on technical analysis. And if again, if you love technical analysis, this is has been a, a really uh, great market, right? It's been a really, really great market to the downside. Uh, as long as you are not uh, chasing names that broke out three, four, five, eight weeks ago and start going in continuation and start looking for, you know, continue to look for stocks that haven't hit their lows yet, but they're very, very imminent to start coiling and confirming uh, very, very soon. So again, there's nothing, you know, there's really no reason to mix words. Again, this is the same uh, mantra going into uh, this week. The narrative hasn't changed, right? I'm sell bias. Uh, again, if we have a rally, right? If we have a, a rally uh, at some point this week, okay, yeah, that, that's the market. The market doesn't go straight down, but the, the scoreboard is the scoreboard. Uh, the Dow and the S&P, S&P lost about 3%, the Dow lost 2 NASDAQ continues to fall despite this one really, really big move here on Wednesday fell uh, fell three and a half percent for the week. So going into this week, sell buys until we are not. Uh, no reason to kind of you know dance around that. That's kind of where it is. And if you've been watching uh, this broadcast for even the last couple of months, that's kind of what it is. So you have two choices: either be a grown up and accept it. Uh, and trade around it or even uh, put yourself in a position that's on the sidelines from an investing point of view, that's cool, right? That's absolutely cool. Uh, or you could be an active trader, trade both sides of the market, try to participate on both sides and every single day. Yeah, that's cool as well. But what's not cool is sitting there feeling sorry for yourself, uh, bitching and moaning and complaining and commenting on every little thing and blah, 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 blah. That's not productive. You're not going to get anywhere. And, and the most important part is, guys, here it is. Nobody cares, right? Nobody cares, right? Nobody cares what I say. Nobody cares what you say. Reality is reality. The market's either going to go up or the market's going to go down. So going into this week, again, of course, uh, I am sell bias until we have any reason, right? At least at least, at least here, at least uh, get above the 20-day moving average. If we could at least get above the 20-day moving average, which where we got, where we got rejected uh, last Friday, if we could at least get above the 20-day moving average, at least we have a, a, a stand that says, hey, market looks okay at least for a two, three-day uh, bounce back rally. But until that happens, again, uh, sell buy. So action this week uh, has been uh, really good, really, really good action, um, you know, primarily, obviously, to the downside. Uh, the pivots this week have been really good Friday, which the, the funny thing is, and this is what's great about, this was great about the market. Like if you guys remember, I usually don't record a Thursday video, but uh, Wednesday I had to pick up my son from school, blah, blah, blah. So I recorded a Thursday video and I said, hey, I, I really don't love anything, right? I, you know, I, you know, there's really nothing that I'm, I'm sitting here dying to do. And slowly but surely, you started seeing things turn back to the downside. And next thing you know, you had pretty damn good uh, value to the downside and yada, yada, yada. Like I said, uh, Friday turned out to be a pretty, pretty really strong uh, day that's going to uh, obviously set the table uh, going in for Monday. So let's talk about this. I, I actually had some pivots 
lined up to the upside, right? Uh, 861, 866, big levels. We all know Tesla got nowhere near 861, 866. Uh, put an initial pivot on, on NVIDIA, cash flow setup. 234 rejected 334 times, never got there as well. Uh, Rivian had crappy earnings. Rivian has been a really good trader uh, in the last two weeks to the downside. They came out with earnings, obviously not great. Uh, they never got back down to the $36 level, the pre-market lows. So that one was kind of, um, you know, which was, which was a very big mystery what, what didn't happen there. But then you started seeing slowly but surely names one by one getting, you know, really hit. Uh, Docu that did come out with earnings, 7640s twice pre-market. If it builds below for experienced traders only, here was Docu, right? Here was Docu. It took out the pre-market lows, took out the pre-market lows, traded all the way down to uh, 71. Nice move there. Uh, Overstock was great. I forgot. I think it was Goran who, who, who gave us the heads up. That was great. Really, thank you very much. Uh, 48.75, if it builds below, can flush. Here was Overstock. I wasn't even, I, I didn't ha have this thing even on my radar, but look at this move here. So. Here is the bottom of the daily channel. The, the low here was 48.75. It took out 48.75 and just got absolutely crushed. There literally wasn't an uptick on this thing the whole day. Uh, traded down to the 44s. If I, I still like this thing lower. If this thing confirms uh, 44, there's a shot it gets to 38. Uh, that thing looks lower. Uh, PSTG, I wasn't even watching. Did the PSTG do anything? I think I covered this on the night before. No, I never got to the 33 level. Um, VRTX, congratulations for you guys who actually took VRTX to the upside. 243.20, 243.50 needs to build. This thing actually put up a $4 candle. Really nice move before everything replays. So it took out this whole channel here. I think this is one of the names I talked about on Thursday's video. And it went to it went to 47. It put up a four or five dollar move considering what the market did. It's pretty, pretty damn impressive. Uh TDOC got uh absolutely smoked. 59.50 if it builds below uh can flush. Here was TDOC, right? Took out the 50, 59.50, uh, traded down to 54. I still think this thing uh, goes lower along with everything else. Boeing actually nice had a nice little pop. Uh, 183 needs to build. I said there's it, it a shot it gets to 85. Uh, here is this, right? It traded right to 85. Here's the 83 and traded right to 85 to the 10-day supply, which obviously then it got rejected. But good job for all you guys who did take uh, some Boeing, uh, GameStop, right? We talked about GameStop uh, the night before, right? I said, hey, listen, you know, I'm sorry, the meme generation, I get it. You know, you're not leaving, we're not leaving, blah, blah, blah. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not, but, but again, guys, again, this is the most emotional group. This and, and uh, what's the other one? Um, There's a couple of meme stocks, uh, BBBY, and the other one was. Uh, uh, the the uh, with AMC AMC sorry about that uh, brain fart so uh, GameStop we talked about it the night before 98 and 96 big levels if it builds below can flush here was GameStop right here's GameStop it took out the 98 took out the 96 traded all the way down to 92 uh, I think if the market continues to be lower I think this thing sees uh, 86 which is the January uh, 24 lows this thing looks lower. Uh, as well, uh, VRTX 247 on deck. This was definitely my trade of the day. Uh, Baidu, they started coming, if you guys saw, they started coming for all the Chinese stocks. Uh, potential, I think the news was potential Security Exchange Commission uh, delisting. Uh, Bo, you, know, you, had, you had Baidu, you had uh, Alibaba, uh, you had JD, right? I think there was a little one there. Uh, Dada or Didi, one of these little stocks, but this one was awesome. The reason why this one was awesome, because it was like a perfect storm. I, I always talk about the one thing that you want to watch, even if you're not an options trader, if they start coming, the formula for me is daily chart confirmation. And if you see, if you see nonstop deep out of the money short-term expiration that's a it's like almost like a double and triple confirmation so baidu we started seeing uh friday's expiration they were coming for the 130 the 125s the 120s non-stop and this thing got just shelled i mean in my wildest dreams i didn't think uh this is going to be the, the move of the day 132 if it builds below can flush here was baidu just got absolutely shelled destroyed so here was the 32 right here's the 32 the day i i my, my last was at 26. I thought 26 was a good move. And then I watched it go down another, what, eight points? Just just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, great move. I mean, absolutely great move on Baidu. Uh, UPST uh, 107 needs to build. Uh, held twice. Uh, I kind of screwed up the trade. I screwed up the entry. Um, I, 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 did, you know, I did okay with it, but anyway, I'm an idiot. 
Uh, so it took out 107. It just got absolutely, it closed at 100. If UPST loses this 100, guys, this thing loses the 100. This thing has a shot to 89. So I definitely like uh, this thing as well going into here 129. And then it came up to 125, 126, 85 next supply, uh, 127s, and da 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 da. da. So uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's basically it. it's going into uh, going into uh, tomorrow, a uh, Monday. Excuse me. I'm definitely definitely sell bias as well. Let me give you guys a couple of names uh, that I definitely like. Uh, DraftKings. Uh, and again, everything looks lower. But look look at this channel here on DraftKings. Uh, this thing looks lower. GameStop we mentioned before that looks terrible. Uh, Checkpoint, right? Checkpoint. Look at look at Checkpoint. Lowest close uh, after this whole rise here. If this thing starts. Uh, getting below Friday's channel is looking at 10 points in this thing as well. Uh, you got DOCS. Uh, DOCS looks really, really good as well. Look at this channel here, right? Beautiful, beautiful channel. Held now twice. If this thing starts confirming, you got room all the way down to, to 37. And look at Adobe, right? Adobe looks uh, pretty good uh, as well. As you can see here, it's right at the bottom of the February 24th channel. And if this thing confirms, uh, it goes lower as well. So guys, have a great weekend, everybody. God bless. Stay safe. Stay warm. But the most important thing is stay healthy. Guys, God bless. I'll see you all in the